morning. I'm probably not going to be looking at the camera at all because I'm on my way to work and driving and I want to be safe even though I am doing a live video. But this is my time that I can do it. So I just wanted to talk for a few minutes about a subject that has been weighing on my mind a lot lately. And we've done quite a few um, different discussions and training videos on it over the last, um, the last couple of months. And it has to do with rejection and how to deal with that and still press on and not let yourself get too discouraged. So in the beginning, um, I found when I would talk to people about trying lip sense um, or trying Xenogen's products or even about the business opportunity that when they would say no, I would be like, oh, okay. And, and then it would kind of make me nervous about the next person. Um, and I found that I would hesitate or maybe not talk to someone or talk myself out of talking to the next person because the no's freaked me out. Like I felt like I was bugging people or something. Well, something to keep in mind is that when one person tells you no, that's between you and them, and that's not between you and the next person. The next person you con um, that you contact or can talk to might be like, heck yes, this sounds amazing, I want to try it, um, or you know, whatever the case might be. But don't put the interaction or the involvement you have with one person on the shoulders of the next person that you might talk to. Everybody is different, and all of your interactions are going to be the same. Well, with that said, you know, and kind of coming to that realization, and yes, it's something that I still, even today, have to tell myself is that people, everybody's different. One person, the way they respond is not going to be the same as the next person that I talk to. And I personally have seen how this um, this business has changed lives. And I, I'm not just saying that it's not just some catchy phrase. But it literally has made all of the difference in the world for people, myself included. I, I would never go back from having done this. Um, and so I have to give other people, you know, the ability to be a participant or to participate and have that change in their lives too. I don't want to be selfish and hold that from them because I'm scared that they might say no. So why I even started all this is something that I have... Um, started doing that I wanted to share with you is what I like to call collecting no's. Um, I don't know if you guys are numbers people or not, but I am. My job works a lot with numbers, so I'm very analytical about things. And with this, the numbers don't lie. There's a lot of statistics out there that are proven that we can talk to, um, and they vary a little bit where, you know, you can say when you're talking to someone um, or showing them the product or making contact, I'm just going to refer to them as exposures. When you do that, most people need um, greater than seven exposures before they are going to be like, okay, let's do this, or okay, let me try this. So every single time that someone tells me no, I know that, okay, that's no, not right now. Check one off the list. I need to talk to that person probably six more times. I'm probably not going to do it six more times in the same day, obviously. I'm going to you know, do what's natural and... Um, go about it, but at least I know that those numbers won't lie and eventually I'm going to get to the point where that person's going to finally be like, oh, you know what, maybe I should, or they can give you that final definitive no. Good morning. Um, so, like I said, keep that in mind that you have to at least talk to people or plan to talk to people a handful of times before they're going to be on board. Um, the other number that doesn't lie is the 1 in 10 rule about 10% positive response is what you're going to get from people once you do get to that point where they're accepting, whether it's to try the product or check out the business, only 10%. So I use that as a gauge to say, if I want to have a new recruit, I may need to talk to a hundred people, you know, to get my 10, or if I want to get, you know, one new recruit, I'm going to talk to 10 people. And so I have taken to what I like to call collecting no's. And I will make my list of people that I'm like, okay, I think that this would change their life. I think that this would be a good thing for them. And I write that list, whole nother video on how to generate your, your warm contact list and, and whatnot. But as I'm going through my warm contact list, I have them all down and I will mark off, okay, talk to this person, talk to this person, talk to this person. So I can keep track of how many exposures that I've had with them, um, a kind of a time frame of when that is, and collect those no's. If I go into that conversation knowing that all I'm doing is checking off 
exposures and not expecting that they'll say yes right away, it takes the stress out of it for me. Um, and I know that I'm moving forward statistically to that point where someone is going to be like, okay, sure. So I'm going to challenge all of you guys to start collecting no's. Um, and I'm, I'm going to try and make a fun game out of it because it's really, it, like I said, the numbers don't lie and it can help to take the stress out of it. Uh, and it's really kind of fun. Good morning, ladies. So how many no's have you guys collected? I have a running list of nine from yesterday, nine no's. But guess what? Those no's are on my, okay, in a couple days, I'm going to check back with them. Not uh, just those nine people, but but others. So I'm going to start a new challenge in July that's called the Collecting No's Challenge, just to see how many no's it takes before you get to your next yes. Maybe it takes 20 no's, maybe it takes 100 no's, I don't know. But eventually, it will happen that someone will say yes. And if your mouth is closed, your business is closed. So just wanted to put that out there. I hope you guys are having a safe and fun morning. Oh, I just saw some ladies pop on. Sorry, I'm driving, so I'm not really trying to read or look. On my way to my side job. <laughs> you guys, I appreciate you so much. I'm going to post some really awesome news in a few minutes, too, before I actually get into the workplace. Um, because we are on the path to our own dominion like ASAP. So it's really, really exciting. Have a great day. Collect your nose and we'll chat about how it's going. Bye, you guys.